Hey everyone, the other day I had the wonderful opportunity to speak to Dr. Mark Simmons from Colorado State University. Dr. Simmons is an expert in the family Celastraceae, a largely tropical family distributed around the world. We started our conversation talking about one of the most widely recognized and one of the most widely used species in the Celastraceae, a plant used as a narcotic, commonly known as cot. So they would use Cath edulis, uh, so also known as cot or uh, cat, Mira, and various names, has lots of common names. Uh, certainly uh, used a bunch in Southwest Arabia as well as Eastern Africa. And uh, these are three Malagasy gentlemen uh, show, uh, selling it at a former gas station, for example. So it's now migrated the usage and uh, production of it into Madagascar, into Northern Somalia, into Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and also being uh, exported into lots of countries in which it is controlled substance, including the US, Canada, and most of Europe. So uh, Britain, for example, just prohibited uh, cot import uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, what estimates are 20 million plus people uh, make their livings uh, growing this product uh, and certainly consuming it as well. And so if you go to a campus party here at CSU, uh, there will probably be alcohol there. If you go to a uh, campus party in, uh, say, Yemen, or in many parts of Kenya or Somalia, then you'll probably have cot there. So cot does not, uh, de depends on the uh, particular Islamic scholar, but many people, especially in Yemen and Somalia, do not consider it prohibited by Sharia. The Celestraci as a whole, over 100 genera at this point in time, and I cannot give you a precise number because several of these are still in flux. So there's a bunch of unpublished genera from Madagascar, and there are certainly, especially within uh, African lineages, mainland African lineages, there are still some uh, imprecise boundaries between genera. So, uh, so we know that there are problems but nobody's worked on all of the species involved yet to find which are the natural groups and which are not, and to break up the groups that are not natural into segregate groups that are. Uh, so about 1,200 species in the family, and uh, we can give very precise numbers to the vast majority of genera, but for some very uh, large genera, such as Maytenis and Selassia, uh, these two genera um, you know, we've got actually a good estimate for the new world members nowadays, but for the old world members, uh, that's still uh, very kind of lots of hand waving involved. Some of the, I guess my most recent publication on Celestracy here is published in Molecular Phylogenetics and Evolution. This is a biogeographic study looking at Malagasy members of the Celestracy family. Uh, we certainly found multiple independent origins of the Malagasy Celestracy. But what we found that was a surprise is that there have been some dispersals out of Madagascar and not just to like coastal Africa or to uh, the Mascarenes or Reunion Island, that sort of area. But we found dispersals that have actually reached into the Caribbean and all the way through Australia and New Caledonia. These are some of the uh, relatively uh, unprecedented or few examples in which we've seen very broad dispersal out of Madagascar. Celestraci, what we think of them, certainly in North America, is Euonymus and perhaps Celastris, so vines and shrubs. But uh, there are species that are actually annual herbs. So this is Macrogoria, which is from Australia, and indeed, uh, you know, very highly derived uh, member of the Celestraci with respect to the plant habit. And uh, one of my uh, favorite ones from Madagascar is Polycardia. So what's uh, particularly special about Polycardia is that it is epiphyllous inflorescences. That is the inflorescences, the flowering parts of the plant are actually on the leaves, so directly connected to them. And in this lower picture here, we have a capsule showing the, the various seeds that are about to dehiss. And at the base of each of these seeds, we see these um, kind of radiating structures in white in this particular case that are attractive to ants. So you don't see it on this particular specimen, but most specimens that we collect in the field, you actually find ants crawling all around these capsules. And they are specifically interested in this outgrowth of the seed. Uh, centers of diversity of Celestraceae, that would certainly be tropics and subtropics. And I can't point to say, you know, new world is more diverse than the old world or vice versa. 
uh, but uh, certainly, you know, getting up into the uh, the higher uh, latitudes of uh, getting up into Canada and down towards Patagonia. So there certainly is a winnowing of diversity in those areas. Uh, so one area that is exceptional for the Celestraceae, uh, based on its remarkable diversity relative to the size of the landmass, is Madagascar. And uh, that, that at the same time is true for multiple other families as well. Uh, the second uh, probably highest diversity per given area uh, is in New Caledonia. So what is it, about uh, 700 miles, I believe, north of New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, both of those islands have lots of endemic genera to them. And uh, both of those islands, the genera that are endemic, that are found there and only nowhere else, uh, they do not form a monophyletic group. So in both of these cases, those islands got colonized multiple different times. Uh, so we're here in Colorado State University, and this is the one species of Celestraceae that is native to the state. So at least within Colorado, typically you need to go up into the mountains for higher elevations to find uh, Paxistema mercenides, but this actually grows across the western U.S. and into Canada, and uh, so it tends to be in forests, so certainly uh, wetter areas rather than drier areas, hence need to go to elevation in Colorado to find it. And uh, so of all the 1,200 members of the Celestraceae, we've got all of one species here <laughs> in our state. So uh, you asked about centers of diversity, and uh, certainly Colorado is not a center of diversity for the family.